Hey everyone, today I wanna to talk about sizing a lift for your garage. There are a lot of factors to take into account when you are sizing a lift for your available space. The biggest by far is going to be your overall dimensions, your height, your width, and your length. That's going to determine not only the size of the lift that you can put in your garage, but the vehicles itself you'll be able to store. The next thing is going to be the door and related hardware. Whether you're doing one large door like I have that typically allows more room on the size of the door, or if you have individual doors, typically that's going to leave a little bit of dead space in the middle. That will change the way the lift will be offset. And then you also have the track and the related hardware for it. You definitely want to have a high lift track like this so that the door rises close to the ceiling as possible. That's going to give you more height. That's something that you can go back and change later on. That's not as big of a deal as some of these other factors. Also, I recommend a jack shaft style opener as opposed to the center openers that ride on a trolley. That can sometimes be an issue with ceiling clearance. So those are gonna be your biggest factors for sizing a lift for your garage itself. Now, one thing I wanna convey is if you're starting from scratch, whether you're doing a house build, a standalone garage, maybe an addition, whatever it may be, I'd always recommend consider if you have the means to go with more than what you think you're going to need. Make the garage bigger, make it taller, make it longer. Uh, go with larger doors, higher lift tracks, run more electric into the garage than you think you're going to need because a lot of this stuff you're going to find is initially it may work for you, but as time goes on, you start really loading the garage up with lots of cars, lots of toys, whatever you may have in your garage. Sometimes it might not be enough years down the road. And some of this stuff to go back later on and add it on or change it can be either impossible to do or be really, really expensive to go back and do this later. Like if you do a two car garage and I should have done a three, that's a lot more money to go back and do that later versus doing it from scratch. To run more electric into the garage sometimes can be a pain depending on your setup. So if you're starting from scratch, just consider doing more than you think you're going to need right now. So now I wanna talk about my exact setup. Now I have a pretty traditional sized two car garage. This started off life as about a 24 by 24 garage. And the ceiling is between 128 and 129 inches tall. Now, like in my previous videos, I mentioned this is the Advantage DX9000 HD. This is currently the smallest lift that Advantage makes. The overall dimensions of this lift, base plate to base plate, 168 inches long and 113 inches wide. So it's good for your average sized two car garage. It does not make the garage feel tight or cramped at all. I can still comfortably walk around it even when my Raptor is parked in here. Now, Advantage's formula for calculating the available height is they recommend at least four inches of clearance between the vehicle and the roof itself. The runways are about four and a half inches wide. So for my exact fit, I have about 120 inches of room to play with. So the Shelby itself is about 55 inches tall. Now I have this on the second highest lock setting because I can't quite get to the top lock. I, it's a little un, too close to the ceiling for comfort. So with the second highest lock setting, I have about a seven inch gap between the top of the roof of the Shelby and the ceiling of the garage itself. So this allows me about 64 inches of room underneath it. So that's going to comfortably fit another car or a small SUV will comfortably fit underneath it. So I know a lot of people are looking for lifts that have traditional 24 by 24 garages themselves and are wondering what their car may look like in it. So most sports cars are gonna be in this neighborhood, mid to low 50s or so in height. Obviously that can vary significantly, but this is how much room you have. Like I said, seven inches of room from the top of the car to the ceiling. So I got a nice safe margin of error in there for the car. And with my garage, I have a storage room in the back. So. I can store all the lesser used items. I got all my lifts, my quick jacks, basically the stuff that I don't want around the car just for safety reasons, just to keep the garage from getting cluttered, I have stored back here. So that's another thing if you're starting from scratch to put a little storage closet on your garage just to kind of keep things from getting cluttered up. And like I said it before about having that offset, I have the lift offset to the left as much as possible to keep the garage open. 
and you can see the hinges on the center of the door, I still have a considerable amount of room in the middle of the garage. So I can open the door to the truck if need be in here uh, without the lift being in the way. So let me just go ahead and cycle the door to, to show how much room you have with an 11 foot ceiling with a high lift track. So it might look pretty close from down on the ground, but there is a lot more room. There's a more room between the door and the car than the ceiling in the car. So it's comfortably fits in here. Uh, that's why you want to have one of these high lift tracks. Cause if this garage door came up and went back without going up first, uh, I would have had to have it reconfigured cause it wouldn't have cleared. I would have had to have the car significantly lower. I would not have been able to utilize the, uh, the space. So. If you have a relatively standard size two car garage, this is how something like a Ford Mustang is going to fit in here. Very comfortable. It doesn't make the garage feel overly cramped. And there's plenty enough room here to get another large vehicle like my Raptor in here and I can get another, hopefully another Mustang underneath it in the near future. So if you're looking to size a lift for your garage, I hope this video helped you out. So thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed.